Welcome into another exciting episode of King's Table, and this time we're going to talk about toy traders. Yeah. Yeah, toy traders. Well, we were at the Brick Can. I almost said Brick Cascade again. Yeah. We were at Brick Can, and there was a vendor there and uh, called Toy Traders, and we have been told about this place by a lot of you guys, because we had asked, you know, any cool shops in the area in Canada that we were going to be, and Toy Traders was on the list. And so they were there, and we got to meet the owner, so we went and checked it out. What were your what, what words do you have to describe <laughs> for this place? Oh man, words can't describe how amazing, just hands down, just amazing this place was. It, uh, it was everything and tons it, of inventory, just tons of inventory. Just we couldn't capture it on camera, uh, or not, at least our standard camera. Yeah, this we is, <laughs> I had to bust out the old three sixty camera just to to show you the. The masses <laughs> so. of this place. Here, here's just some footage of us walking around. We're here in the Canadian system to investigate toy traders. We prepared an away team. Let's join them in the field and see what they report. I'm glad oh, oh, Cap, this place is massive. We're gonna try to show you recover as best we can. There's nowhere. We're never gonna be able to Where? show everybody all. Dude, they got an end. Look, full size. <laughs> hey Zed. They got Chappie. Oh. <laughs> is that like how do they make where they get I don't know, man. Oh With my god. Chappy? What? With the premieres? Oh my god. These aren't bad prices either. No. On figures, these yeah, are not seriously bad. not at all. <laughs> even with the exchange rate, it's even better. Five bucks each for these Lord of Rings figs, dude. Ten dollars for the king of whatever the Lord of Rings king is. I've never been to a toy store this large, have you? I don't know, there's that one in San Antonio that we did? Yeah. I don't know, it's compared, I think... Uh, these uh, have, Heroes and Fantasy, yeah, I think it was called? They have taller shelves here. But I think the square footage one... It, this beats it. Uh, I don't know, we gotta double check, because I think square footage, the, the one in San Antonio is larger, but there's more stuff crammed in here. There's definitely more stuff than the one in San Antonio. There's just... Uh, I don't know! I don't know! We've only just started, there's a second layer to this, we haven't been up there yet. It's the second floor. There's so much. Hey, look, they put an American Canadian flag. Oh, they don't get that. But it says it says American flag or Canadian flag. So I guess so they're the real Canadian heroes here, not the American heroes. That's funny. So we finally found something that everyone's been looking for: Wonder Woman's jet. Did you see it? Did you see it? Who knew Beanie Babies are still a thing? Did you? Did you know? Huh? Did you know? Mm. No? Mm. No. I didn't. I lost, I lost Phil. This place is so big. I can't keep track of him. This place is so cool. Oh, man. I, I'm still running into things I haven't seen. 
Oh my gosh. Whoa. They have, they have Guardians Galaxy Yahtzee? It comes with a little group. I'm gonna have to get that. We'll see. It's just like one of those places I don't think we're gonna do it, you could really do it justice. It's something you have to check out for themselves and like, even just like all of the display stuff and like movie memorabilia stuff they have was just phenomenal. Like so much stuff. There was like so much stuff and like, there was a lot of stuff. It was really awesome. They had these cool really like dioramas up on the yeah. TV with a lot of these action like cutout scenes from like, G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe, He-Man, uh, he -Man. there was a Marvel one with like a Sport Daily Bugle, Star Wars, with Spider-Man, the big old battle scene going on with that, and yeah, it was just awesome because one of the G.I. Joe one, they had like this huge naval battle, and the way it was set up was like they had this underwater portion that Ooh. looked underwater from all the carriers and crafts and yeah. all the submarines and stuff, and that looked really cool, and they, uh, they, they had were... all these explosions and buildings and... Ejector seat, that was probably my favorite Oh, effect. there was an ejector there's seat, this, yeah. There was this like fire, the one, the, the, the striker, it was, these are all 80s toys, like all these are all vintage yeah. toys, and there was one of the strikers was like exploded it was on fire and then they had a guy ejecting out of it and they had this like the effects that they had made for it yeah it was so basic but it was so it looked um, like i don't know it's like why fix it if it works why break a striker to make it look like it's got blown up like, i know was like, Seriously. Oh but like God. they had like three of the, the uss flags and just one what of those is, is like fifteen hundred dollars <laughs> yeah. there's three of them one of them was like destroyed like, they had painted it to make it look all, like, blown up and yeah, stuff. And I'm like, Dang. They had these really cool, like, homemade or explosion effects. And I think they used expanding foam. Yeah, oh, use. yeah. It was just expanding foam that was with painted. painted. I was going to experiment with that. It looks, yeah. It looked awesome for, like, what it was. Just You could tell it was just some kind of foam, but, like, it looked. They painted it really well. And it's, like, just all the scenes just looked awesome. And, like, just going to check out that was just, just like, Just that alone, awesome. walking around. It was around the whole perimeter, and this place was... It's got 10,000 square feet, maybe, if not yeah. more. I, the guy told us it, it would take about two hours to go see well, everything. Well, that's just the that's just the measurements for their DC display. So they're, <laughs> that's not even the store. Okay, that's so just, have, just, the, just the DC display was uh, 652 cubic feet with 300 plus characters and counting. 1,000 yeah. cubic feet for a Hoth display. Yeah. That which was really cool. With 500 action figures included. With, Wow, two hundred LED, two thousand LED lights, LEDs. A seventeen and a half foot wide Death Star. That thing was massive. It was huge. It was cool. <laughs> and even that had like its own like uh, like a docking bay. Oh, that, it was awesome. Canada's largest nice. toy and collectible store. Seventeen thousand. I was okay. Seven, I was seven thousand. <laughs> I was seven thousand square feet. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's a nearly twenty thousand square foot building. Full. And I don't mean it's like, oh, there's some shells. I mean. No. These were like a great full. library. A library of Alexander <laughs> tall shelves. Like. Full. They had multiples <laughs> of things. Life-size uh, prop replicas of like. Statues. So many. So oh many. So many of those. Oh, my God. Uh, then there was a game room, too. We didn't even really go check out. That was part of it, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They had uh, people nerding out in there playing D&D mm. &D and uh, just, Magic the Gathering. They just had boxes and boxes, stacks of like just things that you normally see like one or two at in the store. They had like <laughs> yeah. 30 of it just sitting out for you to grab as many as you want. Just the carrier alone, seeing oh. those three of them just that close together in like one diorama was oh insane. Cause that, and like it covers every single like genre or like mm -hmm. gore. I mean, there's Harry Potter stuff, Ninja Turtles, Star Wars, of course, DC, Marvel. Of um, course, Lego. Of course, Lego. And they had Playmobil too. A whole yeah. huge section. <laughs> a lot of Playmobil stuff. I didn't know Playmobil had, had like cool stuff out. Like, yeah. Some was, of the stuff was pretty there's cool. There's some Ghostbuster ones that's yeah. actually kind of cool. And then like seeing those huge Playmobil guys look pretty cool. I want to get one of those. I, I had, had one, one of those. I had one back in my shop. Just like modify it to make it look cooler. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely want to go back there uh, in the nearest future. Nearest I would future, say. right? Because there's a. It's we, not even that far. We might go back there, right? There's a. Yeah. Right there's some. Oh, there's a retro gaming. There's thing. a retro yeah. gaming convention that we were invited like, to come back to. So yo, we might. Yeah, we might yeah. just go Don't threaten us with the good times. That was in June. That's next month. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why we're going. We're going right. Hopefully, <laughs> Hopefully we we'll see if we can make it happen. Um, but yeah, that, that's uh, that's all we got for you today. Anything else you want to add before we close <laughs> out? No, just, I think just, the footage is just, yeah. just still in the awe. Just by far one. I don't want to say the best place we've been to so far because I don't think there. we haven't been up been to that many. But it's we've been it's, to a lot. It's up there. Like the one in San Antonio 
what was that one? Oh, uh, uh, Heroes and Fantasies. Heroes and Fantasies. This, those two are like. like They're close. I, I think this it's is like, bigger. It's like the Michael Jordan LeBron debate. But Toy Trainers, ooh, but I'd say it's the best in Canada, and I've only been to the just the tip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell because you know you wanna, you know you wanna get notified when we post our next video because we got more coming. We're back. We'll see you next video. <laughs> oh, Phil tries to do the, the the sign out. It's not just me hogging it. He just can't. I'm just, I don't know what to say. Y'all like and comment and do stuff.